right, it's um, 6.01, so I'll keep an eye on the waiting room, but um, I'll get us going here with um, maybe um, maybe one of our last um, Zoom select board meetings. We'll talk about that later, I guess. But as chair of the Rochester Select Board, I find that due to the state of emergency declared by Governor Scott as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and pursuant to addendum six to executive order 01-20 and act 92, this public body is authorized to meet electronically. In accordance with Act 92, there is no physical location to observe and listen contemporaneously to this meeting. However, in accordance to the temporary amendments to the open meeting law, I confirm that we are providing a platform for the public to join us using um, the Zoom platform. And you can find access to that either on the posted warnings throughout town on the town website or by requesting specifically from the town clerk a, um, a link to said meeting. And here we are again, zooming up a storm. Um, no one else is in the waiting room, so we've got a, a, a dozen tonight. Does anyone have any additions to the agenda at this time? Um, hearing none, I guess we'll move forward with the um, minutes from the prior meeting, which seems a long time ago at uh, May 24th. And I read through them and didn't see any corrections. How about you guys? I also read through them. They look fine. Yep. Yeah. So uh, good to me. Yep. So I'd move to approve those minutes as typed up. I uh, second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, we have, um, I don't think that Terry Severy is here yet. He's on the guest list. So we'll, um, let him hang a little bit while we, um, go right to you, Joan. What are the, you June, this is Kristen. Oh, I have Kristen's Terry Severy here with me. Oh, all right. I see you down there. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, let's, um, jump to that. I think that's, you want to talk about the utility rates on the new business. Is that right, Terry? Yeah, I, uh, I talked to Frank a little bit this weekend. I, I'm sure there's some questions that we probably need to just sit down in person with this. And Frank felt the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I hopefully think we all you guys got a, all the information because I left it, you know, yeah. left the town office. Yeah, I did get a copy of that. And um, yeah. it was, um, there's a lot of information there. I guess uh, um, more of a um, explanation of that would be helpful. Right. I think. That's why I think we need to get together and go through it line by line to explain that better. Yeah. Pat, did you have something you want to say about that? Is that what that pen is? No. 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 Okay. No, I read it. I read it over and, and you know, digested it and would be ready to have a sit down as well. Yeah. So I have a question. Um, is the information that he wants to go over with you, that's information about uh, why he feels the utility rate should be raised? Is that it? Or, or? yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, and the and the data behind that and the need for that. Yeah. So I guess we should warn a um warn a meeting where we can get together and, and talk in, in person about that then. So, yeah, anytime. Whatever you decide's good. Okay. All right. So um probably earlier in the day is better for me than later in the day. Um Thursday is not a good day. We need to have what um, three days ahead of time. Do you want to sit down maybe Friday morning and talk about it? Sure. What time? Eight. It's up to you. Does that work for you, Pat? Frank? Sure. I'm in Maine, so I guess it. You know, that's I'll okay. See. You'll be zooming. Um. Well, I'm in Maine, so I think I would be <laughs> zooming. <laughs> I'm not coming home from vacation. <laughs> no. All right. So. Um, oh yeah. Unless you want to move it into next week, then I then I'm home on Monday. You're home on Monday. Yeah. We can do it next week. It's not a big deal. All right. Why don't we shoot for um, Monday at eight? Um, unless. Um, I I can't to... do it on Monday. You can't do it on Monday. No. Yeah. 
I have a I have a doctor's thing. Um, I can do it Tuesday though. Tuesday morning sounds fine to me. Okay. Um, tentatively, let's. Um, I have to check my rental schedule, see if I have. Um, I'm on the road Tuesday morning, but it should not be. So tentatively, let's. Um, um, we'll verify um, tomorrow that um, we can. Um, warrant a meeting for eight o'clock on next Tuesday morning to talk about the the um super rate increase. Do you, and that would do you be want to put a tentative date in there, doing in case you can't? Um. Uh, why don't we Why don't we say for two? I'll know. Um. Before we post the warning, um. I'll get with um. Um. With Julie and 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 verify that I can do that. So that'd be next Tuesday. Is what's the date on that? Twenty second. Twenty second. Okay. At the town office. Yes. In person. <laughs> our first official in person since the COVID. Yeah, this will be our uh, practice run for the <laughs> practice <Yeah>. run. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Terry. And thanks for putting all that information together. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, now, Joan. Uh, okay, just a quick rundown on what I've been doing uh, since the last select board meeting. Um, I'm working on the five, uh, getting the five ditching projects um, ready to go. So they're now under contract and uh, it's just a matter of uh, whenever the contractors get together with Cooter and decide they're ready to, to start work. Um, the structures grant uh, has, I think I sent you an email, didn't I, that letting you know that the two structures grants have been approved uh, by VTrans. One is for the replacement of the Nason Brook Culvert in front of Terry's house. Yep. And the other is for a culvert design to replace uh, a culvert on, a failing culvert on Howbrook on Town Line Road, which hopefully will be a, a project next year. Um, and Cricket is lined up to do the design for that one. Uh, I've been working with Frank and several other parties to prepare for the Mason Brook uh, project to start. Contractor has some work to do, like she has to order the culvert, and we've got some issues to work out uh, having to do with, with how we'll deal with the traffic uh, when the time comes. So uh, don't have a start date for that yet. Um, and we can't start till at least July 1st anyway, because we don't have a grant agreement. And it has to be the new fiscal year in order for VTrans to issue the, the agreement. So we're working towards that. It'll be done this year, in any case, this season. Um, on the retaining wall, um, you know, we had a, uh, a, a meeting, on-site meeting for prospective uh, bidders on that project. And given that we expect uh, the cost to be uh, approximately twice what FEMA has agreed to give us, uh, I'm doing some research to see if there are other uh, funding sources to help the town pay for it. It's a little tricky because, um, and I have to look into this some more, but FEMA has some kind of restriction on using federal funds to match their funds in order to do a project, but I'm not really I've seen that somewhere and I have to look into that more and see if that's going to be uh, an impediment to us or not. Um, because, excuse me, Joan. Um, yeah. You said the retaining wall, but you didn't say where and I've forgotten. I'm sorry. I think you mentioned it before. It's, it's uh, right by time. the town clerk's office. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll have more information on that soon. Uh, I hope on whether we can get find some more funding for that. Uh, the thing we might need to do that would help was to call the part that FEMA is funding is just stabilizing the bank itself and then uh, deal with the, um, the stormwater outlet and the wastewater line, or, uh, yeah, the wastewater line that parallels the brook as being sort of like a separate but related project and maybe there's funding specifically for that. So I'll let you know more, okay. a little vague, but I have a few ideas. Um, and then the last thing is uh, preparing for the next grant and aid project, um, which wouldn't, which would happen in 2022. We already have a 
grant and aid project uh, going forward this year, which is going to be uh, ditch work on um, Palo Road. And what we're thinking about um, is we have to make sure it's going to be uh, um, fundable under the grant and aid project, which has to have uh, hydrologically connected roads, uh, road to be part of the project. Um, but that would be <coughs> two cross drains on Bethel Mountain Road that need to be replaced somewhere closer in the, in the vicinity to the Rogers Brook culvert. So that's it. All right. Um, thank you. If, um, do you guys have any questions for Joan from moving forward? No. I think that um, we were, in terms of the traffic control for the project um, on the Nason's Brook, that we're, we're looking at probably closing traffic on the road for um, to get that done. Right. Yeah, might as well yeah, that's out there. Right, that's a, a, a major part of our discussion. We're gonna be meeting on uh, Wednesday to talk about that. Um, and we'll be in touch with VTrans to get their help on it as well. Yeah, that would just make it happen much quicker and actually less expensively also, right? Yeah. yeah. And our, one of the biggest concerns we have with that doing it also is uh, we can't control truck traffic on that. We have to get a 53 foot truck up through there and not be able to go through the the um, detour part and we're concerned I'm a little concerned with that that could be a real problem if that did occur we can't really control all that so yeah no I think that's that's the best idea is to just close it but, yeah. yeah a lot of folks in town already know what it's like to have Bethel Mountain Road closed yeah true <laughs> it would only be for a max yeah maximum of three weeks so hopefully it won't be too disruptive and i have spoke with bethel on it uh talked to therese down there and they've got some work they could do on their side at the same time the roads closed and that would save them a yeah. quite a bit because traffic control now is very expensive too it's it's 12 to 1500 dollars a day for mm -hmm. a traffic control well, so it's a, it's pretty expensive. It adds a lot to the cost. All right. Well, um, thank you, Joan. Okay. Um, Tony, um, what's new in the library? Well, we will be having our first uh, live meeting, face-to-face -face meeting in the Vermont room tomorrow at six o'clock. The trustees will meet. Uh, Actually, some of us may not have been in the library for months, I think. Uh, Frank got me over there the other day and I uh, had to go in and saw some of the changes that have been made, the new lights and various other things. So it's kind of interesting. I would imagine that we will discuss uh, just how much opening the library will do, uh, probably with the help of uh, the state library people, but we should be, we should be opening it up uh, soon here. So that's nice. Yeah. Um, Nancy, on the news question. tonight, Tony, it said the governor said since they we had eighty percent, everything was open. But I don't know if that what that means about things like libraries. Yeah. See, I don't either because some businesses can still have some restrictions, I guess, and I don't know if what the libraries will do. But I hope it'll be open. Yeah, Nancy. Tony, um, could you bring up at your meeting um, when the Historical Society will have access to the building again? Yeah, you just want to know when it is. I didn't know you didn't. I, have I think we should be. I think we should be advised as to when we can have access to the building. Okay, we'll do that. We haven't been in there either. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. So we'll. We it would be helpful to us if we knew. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, um, thank you, Tony. Um, I guess really Joan's updates kind of covered the uh, highway topics. There's nothing. Um, Terry, did you have anything other um, on the utilities front other than just wanting to meet about the rates? 
No, everything seems to be okay. We just barely uh, finished up the inspection last week. So I should be getting a letter on that. All right. All right. So, um, uh, other than that, yeah. everything's good. Good, good. Um, I saw that um, Jeff Gephardt is um, sitting on a plane right now between here and Seattle. So he's not going to be reporting um, no Zoom um, contact from the plane, I guess. Yeah. Um, 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 Kirk, I uh, didn't know if you had anything that you wanted to um, to chat about tonight, or if you just here um, just to check in and see how we're doing. We are do have on the uh, agenda the uh, select board certification for the coronavirus local fiscal recovery fund, which is the ARPA. Do you have any um, um, any more information or any questions or statements? Uh, I don't. Uh, just, just mostly stopping in to say hi and to and see if you had any questions for me. Uh, as you know, the session's done now until January, with a with a couple exceptions. Um, we're coming back uh, middle of uh, well around the twenty third uh, for to a veto override uh, session. See what we can do there. But otherwise, we're basically done till January. Um, and uh, I don't have a lot to, to say, uh, nor do I have a lot of deep insights into your ARPA money, um, uh, other than you sh should have it or you're getting some of it uh, at this point. Um, but otherwise, uh, no, uh, I, I, I published all over the place uh, a number of reports on what, what, I, what had happened. And so hopefully everyone got a chance to read those. And, and if they don't, um, I'm, happy to talk to people or send you what I have. Uh, that was a that was all a synopsis of these 16 pages of notes I have on uh, on the various bills. Uh, so uh, but uh, no, uh, unless you have anything for me, I just uh, well, well, appreciate you um, sitting in and joining with us. Yeah. Um, so on the topic of the um, ARPA, we did um, manage to secure um, our I would I would move to um, appoint and authorize Larry Strauss as our ARPA coordinator. I talked with him this this afternoon, and he's willing to to take that take that post. And I'm going to hurry up and second that. All right, all in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Uh, right. Okay. And so, um, could could you please explain to me what ARPA stands for? Because I I, I somehow don't know. American Rescue Plan Act, I believe, um, or plan assistance. Recovery. I think it's recovery. American Recovery. recovery yeah, plan. I think so. American Recovery Plan Act. It stands for American Rescue Plan Rescue. Act. Rescue, okay. Yeah. Rescue Plan Act, I'm sorry. Um, and so Larry Stress is going to be the town's coordinator for that. ARPA coordinator, yeah. Okay, and do we do need to, um, um, so do we have another, um, it says the select board certification for the coronavirus local fiscal recovery fund. Is that basically, do we have to make another act other than appointing Larry as the coordinator? Um, it's just a, a matter of me going on to the website and, um, accepting that we're going to accept the money that um, the government is sending yeah or, or the state sorry yeah yeah so we can do a resolution that we plan on doing that just to make it formal okay i second that motion pat <laughs> so <laughs> so what should i say that that, that you uh, voted to accept uh we were um we are accepting where we're going to vote to accept a resolution to um accept the ARPA money from the state. To approve, okay, voted to approve a resolution to accept the ARPA money from the state. And, and we will start the process of trying to figure out how exactly we can use that money. And you need to vote on it. Yeah, so all in favor? Aye. Aye, Aye. okay. 
So um, thank you, that, sorry. Good work that, and um, thank you, Larry. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Larry. Um, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that'll be interesting to see exactly. You know, we have three years to um, to um, deal with this, and and um, Larry is signed up for a, a webinar this Wednesday. To um, you know, he's he's already attended at least one so you know he's been delving into exactly what um what the parameters are what we can do with this money so. and i could reach i could reach out to larry as well because i've been collecting quite a bit of information as well okay, okay great i um i promised him that it um wouldn't necessitate um too many meetings on his part but he can um work and, and advise us to what's what's um what he finds out we, so, we still sort of have to be involved though right oh yeah Pretty no much. we're going to be involved we have some decisions to make but he is will be our our designated um representative that will be coordinating you know yeah yeah no yeah. we have a um a, a fairly major philosophical decision about how um which direction we're going to take with this is this um we're we going to be looking for just identifying individuals that have experienced stress around it and helping them or are we going to take this money and try and um, um, figure out how to use it to, to benefit the town as a whole which is um which is kind of my thought that's the um there's if we can frame it in a way that we can take care of some challenges that the town has to really you know you know use it to move forward and things that we've been procrastinating because we generally can't can't afford to we just have to be able to um couch it in a way that is um related to the covid stress as far as i understand so um but we'll um find out more information and, and i guess we'll have some more conversations about that in the future yep yep okay um the um, roadside mowing, the topic on that. Um, Julie, do you have some insight of what, what's that, why that's on the agenda? Is about the, the timing of the mowing? He, um, he wanted to make sure to get the word out. Um, he's planning to start in September um, and work until October 15th. And he just wanted to get the word out so that if there are if uh, people up like up in Hawk want to have their contractors um, mow stuff back far enough, then you know he can drive by and make sure that everything is to his liking. Um, yeah, he'll be renting machines sometime at the end of September to October. Yeah, and just uh, want to get that out. Who is, who is he? Uh, Cooter, the road crew. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so if I just basically said roadside mowing is expected to begin in September. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Pat? Um, and a reminder about people that um, wanted to omit their roadside from the mowing, do they need to sign up again every year? Well, he, he, he didn't, his thoughts were that if they, if they hire it out or they don't do it, it's going to get done. Okay, but there were people last year that did not want any roadside mowing like Jan McCann, right. um, Harlan. And so we just need to put it out there that if they still agree with that, they should contact you and let you know. Correct. Here that they still want to be on the no mow list. Right. I, I believe so. Yeah, I think that we will... Um... Um, we should probably continue to um, um, make mention of this in our meetings going forward so it's not um, forgotten about and just jumps up as a surprise again. Yeah. Okay, so they should they can just call you at the at the town office, Julie. Uh, yes. Thank you. Yeah, it'll be. Um, he did say um, September twentieth until October fifteenth. Okay, Nancy, you have something you want to contribute? It just seems as though it's awfully late. Well, it's the I only time it, you could get the tractor. Yeah, that yeah. was the only time you could get the, the right. equipment. Yeah. I he tried earlier, but he, he just, they couldn't, they'd already 
lend it out. Yeah. I think Bethel appears to have done their road coming up over the mountain. Yep, that's Doc Bridge is mowed there. Yep. All right. Um, so we've got the um, Windsor County Sheriff's contract um, again to um, to um, like kind of look through that, and it seems to be um, you know we're um, I don't think we want to not sign it. Does anyone have any um, anything to say about that? I just have a um, a comment. There's a lot of comments on Front Porch Forum about um, the roads in the hollow and Maple Hill and the speed at which people are driving. And it may be something you want to discuss with the sheriff about having a presence on those roads. About you know, spreading it around a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I also heard about the North Hollow Road and that uh, even to the extent the homeowner was putting orange cones out in the road to try to slow traffic down, um, uh, that's not allowed. And so uh, we may want to have that conversation with the sheriff uh, uh, about expanding the patrol to the outer skirts of the, to give that presence. Yeah. And his opinion. And his opinion, because there's a movement about possibly lowering the speed limits. Of course, that conversation comes up when people complain about cars going too fast. So uh, we would value the sheriff's opinion about um, if that is a major problem or not. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'd um, move to uh, um, prove signing his contract again. I second it. Yep, all in favor? All right. Uh, all right great thank you windsor county um also we have a contract for able waste and this is the modification which is going to bring us their um, trash and recycling services on a weekly basis now and op that's opened up also to hancock and granville that's starting uh, july 1st right i believe so yeah okay thank you excuse yeah. me so um, yeah, I'm glad that this has worked out this way and I, I'd move to approve that contract. I second that. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. All right. And we also have um, a couple park use applications. The one for the Suzuki camp where they're, um, they're coming back again. Um, missed them last year. And this is for Thursday, July 15th from five to seven for their traditional um, um, welcome yeah. to town and um, picnicking and fiddle concert. <coughs> um, so um, I'd move to approve that. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And we have uh, had another park use application, but it did not make it on to the um, onto the agenda for this time. This is for the, the library on June 23rd, which would be um, you know before our next meeting. So this is for um, a June book club discussion on the gazebo. And I um, even though it's not on the agenda, I feel like we could this is a pretty um, consistent um, thing. I, I think we could go ahead and move to approve that we, application. We could, but perhaps with the emergency lifted and people now uh, and able to meet in person, um, maybe the library will decide to have that indoors like they always have. Um, maybe uh, Tony Goopy could present that, that if they wanted to move that to the inside of the library, the the guidelines say that they can do that now where do you think tony yeah well, that's a possibility but uh, it would be good to be able to have the have the outside just in case but i you know okay. i think uh, if they've liked the inside better in the past that might be what they'll do okay yep fair enough should oh. i just put down that you approved the, they gave them permission to use the the, the bandstand in you know, that's that. 
I think we're about to, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, yep. Um, I know some of the vehicles driving by lately, it might be kind of hard to have a, a, a conversation on the on the bandstand. I've seen <laughs> I mean, a lot of loud trucks in town lately. And That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, I um, did I miss anything? I don't think so. No, I've got a just a couple things. Um, just about the building. Mike's about done uh, over there. He's waiting for a cap on the chimney, and then he'll be taking the staging down. Uh, there is a, a boot on the back of the of the stink pipe there on that building that Terry's going to see if he can't get a galvanized boot from uh, down at 10 pins in Pittsfield to replace the one that's there because that's where that's leaking around the, the pipe there and coming down into the building. And uh, Mike's going to tar the, the part up there under that. I don't know what the hell that thing is up by the chimney, but uh, some vent of some sort, I guess, but he's going to tar what's leaking there and fix that while he's, he's got everything up there. And uh, I'm gonna look at trying to get that roof painted because I'm not having very good luck getting the buildings painted, but we could probably add another 10 to 15 years to that roof if we get it painted. So I'll look at getting that done uh, soon. Excuse me, Frank, am I correct that you're talking about the town clerk's office building? Yeah. Town yes. Office? Okay, thank you. And I did talk with a contractor that was working at Max there, Vermont Roofing Company, about the leak in the library. And he's gonna give me a price on what it's gonna to cost to get the 60 foot lift because that's what he figures he's gonna need because of the approach to get there. I was kind of hoping they could get it with a ladder, but he, he said, there's no way, there's just, it's too high. Um, even going up on the north side, he said, it just is, it's pretty high. So. Um, he's going to give me a price for a day and two men. And so we'll have some idea of what that's going to cost at least. And then we can make a decision, but we got to deal with it sometime. So yeah, yeah. I'm just going to let you know that that's coming. And at some point, I know Jeff and I are going to meet with uh, some people and go through the, the town owned properties and look at what we need to make them a little more energy efficient and what kind of cost. And we might be able to get some grant money for that. And I spoke with Lois uh, who said she would help initiate that if, if we need to. And I'm gonna to try to talk Jeff, Jeff into doing it with, and I'll help him too. And, and uh, if we need help, Lois said she'd jump in and help us. And she's familiar with that grant, that type of grant. So, which was good to hear, so. We're going to move in that direction on some of that stuff. Um, Pat, did you, you had your hand up? You wanted to say something? I had a, a phone conversation meeting with uh, John Culpins last week, who is from the Vermont Council on Rural Development. And um, he is a program di director for the climate economy model, which they're taking a look at Rochester to uh, see how they could possibly work with us in several different ways. So it was almost more like an interview with him. Um, and I invited him to talk to a few other people around town as well. And so um, we'll see what that program may have something to offer to our town as well. Um, for if, it, again, that's, that's efficiency and how to make our town a better place. So- um, and Patty, what was his name again, John? What? John, J-O-N, uh -huh. last name, Copen, C-O-P-A-N-S. A-N-S, and he's from, he's from which organization? Vermont uh, Council on Rural Development. Thank you. I, I appreciate you answering my questions. And so you're hoping to have him come and speak um, to the select board sometime or something? Okay. Uh, yeah, he, pro he probably will be making a, a, a presentation and he will be talking to Envision Rochester people and Nancy? Do we have any information on the planning grant? 
uh, that can resume. We do not, I do not. I don't know if Vic or Catherine have. I know that the formal, the decision was supposed to have been made late last week, but the formal announcement comes in early July. So I'm not sure if they have, have that inside scoop or not. Yeah. So I haven't touched base with either one of them. Um, and I think lastly, um, we should have a discussion about our next meeting and the format for our next meeting. Yep, I think that we could probably move to in-person meetings, but I would really like to figure out uh, a way that we can continue to um, also have it, um, have a Zoom component of it because it's, it's quite nice for um, people that aren't in town or or may still during be comfortable. Yeah, during snowstorms. Um, I, I would really, really appreciate that fact since now with this lymphedema condition that I have and I walk with a walker, it's difficult for me to get around. And particularly when the weather is going to get bad, I would really appreciate being able to, to attend the meeting that way. Um, um, in fact, I'd like to do it that way as much as I can because I do have so much trouble getting around. And I, I don't know, it's, is it gonna cost more money to continue to have the Zoom thing or is that something the town just has? I don't wanna cause the any trouble. Nominal, that's, that, that's not really yeah. a fact. Um, yeah. But the, the how to set it up, we're, we're oh, gonna have that's one the, that's monitor the that we would see you and then you could see all of us. We, we have to figure out the logistics of oh, how. Yeah. I don't want to cause a lot of trouble for everybody, but if there's any way to do it, when it, if it's not a lot of trouble, I would really appreciate it myself. Well, I, I'm sure there are other. We wouldn't do it just for you. It would for you. Oh, I know. No, yeah. I was going to say, I'm sure there are other people, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I personally would appreciate it. <laughs> but it's not only for select board meetings. It's used for webinars. Um, mm -hmm. There are all kinds of things that are that make it a lot easier to do things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe that it will be it'll remain a, a part of our lives um, for, you know, people saving gas, not traveling here and there yeah. to meet in person. I mean, so, yeah, that's just that factor. Yeah. If I put in the paper that the next meeting on Monday, June 28th is going to be at 6 p.m. in person at the town office, but that there would should I mention that there um, would still be a um, availability to attend by via Zoom or something, or should I not? Well, Julie will be sending out uh, invitations if there's a Zoom meeting. Yeah, it'll go on the warning anyway. We'll have to yeah. warn it as a yeah. Zoom meeting, but but an in-person meeting also. Yeah. Okay. That's the way well, we'll have to do you. it. Okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I want to put a one more bug out there for you guys too. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, if we have a line item in our budgets on elections, do we? Oh God, do not. No. I, I think we're going to need to have one. Well, because the state's gone to a mail out ballot for state and federal uh, elections now. And that's, that's a bear to administer. It's a lot of extra time. And I think we're going to need to put a line item in there just so that we can cover some of the costs of that. It's also not just for the um, elections. They want it for all voting. Yes. Yeah. So, but it's not mandatory townwide right now, but it is for state and federal. Is that correct? But we'll be working on the next budget year when this goes into effect. Right. But we don't have any special line item for next year. Yeah, we'll we'll have to stick one in. I just wanted to put the bug out there that's all we'll just be over budget yeah all right um good work i just want to also uh bring up the fact that we're meeting in person for our next meeting are we meeting at 6 15 that would be helpful to me <laughs> yeah, we can go back to 615. So we probably yeah. should put that notation in this meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 615. Yeah. And so will I know by then if I could if I can attend via Zoom, if I um or or should I not? Depending on it. I I can I can bring my laptop and 
my laptop can be, it'll be different for you, Martha, because you won't see each and everybody's face. You'll just see a room full of people and hopefully the audio is good enough so that you can hear right. everything. That's so, okay, I will yeah. try to get there myself, but if you wouldn't mind being prepared just in case. I will, I will have some. Some days I can get around better than others. And um, I mean, I've had days when I really <laughs> had a really hard time getting around. And I, and I, um, I but I, and I, I, my boss has been kind enough to um, tell me I can continue to work for home, from home for the foreseeable future because yep. he wants me to stay on for the paper. So I um, want to be able to do a good job if I can. Yeah, no, it's our, it's our plan to try and figure out how, how that can work. It may not be perfect the next meeting but we'll um we'll all we'll right work on thank you very much i appreciate everybody and i'm really really thankful that i live in rochester with such we'll, good people we'll have some bugs but we'll get them ironed out <laughs> Nancy? question for julie um are there criteria with zoom on on what hour or a quarter hours or things like that that have to be met that's true oh, we, well yeah. in the zoom meeting would start it would be scheduled to start at six o'clock but then we really wouldn't it wouldn't kick in until 6 15. she would it only you can only schedule on the hour or half hour oh, that's what oh, i thought okay. yeah so she right. would she would set it up as a six o'clock meeting but we would actually adjourn uh come at, at 6 15. but people have to be advised that they're going to be sitting oh. down for 15 minutes waiting well, they, they can still they can log still in at 15 at 6 15 it's just that the meeting would have um been open at six okay yeah 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 so they'll um and that will be in the in the warnings so See, you julie, don't have to read the COVID stuff anymore I know. so julie if, if julie if you if julie sends me or someone else a zoom um invitation to to click on um it would say six o'clock or it would say six fifteen or it would probably say six o'clock but you would know that um that it's not really going to kick okay. in until six fifteen we may you know it, it will okay. we'll figure it out um, julie, i you know, i never knew the thing about the quarter hour <laughs> you can call julie and she'll okay. tell you what they've decided yeah. to do thank you <laughs> um all right uh, is that it that's it. All right. Um, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Good night. We'll see Have you the next time in person. Good night. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Thanks for coming. Yep. <laughs>